Hi, so today I want to start off a new segment on my channel called Beauty Showdown. Now, in this segment, I'll be talking about two similar products. Uh, they practically will be doing the same, and I'll be touching on ingredients, uh, price points, and way in in which one I think is best, in my opinion. Uh, you can try both products for yourself at the end. If you feel like it, you're more than welcome to. I'll put links down below where you can buy them, or I will tell you some point in the video. So, the products I'll be talking about today are exfoliating peel gels. Um, basically what these are, they're gels that are mainly water-based and what you do is, you know, you rub it in your hands and then you put it on your face and once you rub it in your face, uh, your dead skin cells start to clump and accumulate and then like these balls roll off of your face. Um, so the first product uh, comes from Japan uh, and it's called the Cure Natural Aqua Gel. Uh, it's this little bottle and as you can see, it is sort of empty. Um, I'm down to the little gritty right here at the bottom. Uh, I have used this. It lasts me uh, about a little bit over three months. You actually don't need that much um, to exfoliate your face, but it has uh, lasted me a while. It took me a while to finish this. Uh, and like I said, it is from Japan, so uh, all the ingredients on the bottle will be in Japanese, but um, on like a place on Amazon, and I think American Outfitters have it also. Um, I think the ingredients on there are in English. I will link it down below so you can actually see it. Um, so this boasts to be, um, to have, uh, not to be, but it boasts to have 90% water. So you don't, there's not really much chemicals in it. I think it's fruit extracts and fruit peels, basically like a fruit acid peel gel, but not as, you know, harsh on your face. Uh, it is meant for sensitive skin, uh, since there's really any harsh chemicals in it. Uh, I know the two main ingredients in this is water and glycerin and it is uh, 250 milliliters, which is about 12 ounces for uh, fluid ounces here in the US. Um, it's great for sensitive skin. And yeah, I'll link everything down below where you can find this. Um, and the other one I have is the, um, you can, I don't know how to properly pronounce this. It's either called the Bosha. Some people call it Bosha. You can find this at Sephora. Uh, the Bosha Exfoliating Peel Gel. Now this does have a lot more ingredients uh, than the aqua gel. Um, this has a roughly around, I want to say like 12 to 15 ingredients, I didn't count one by one. But it does have a lot of fruit extracts, a lot of basically fruit acids, um, but it's still meant for, I'm not sure if it's meant, but I know it's still good for sensitive skin. Although I would say this kind of, last time I used this, I had a slight sunburn, not, too, not, not that big, and it did kind of sting a bit. It wasn't, it wasn't bad, it was bearable, like it only stung for a couple seconds. Uh, so I'm guessing the fruit acid in it, or the fruit extracts kind of were a little bit strong if you have um, a sunburn, but other than that, it'll be okay. Um, both of them uh, have totally different ingredients. They do not have uh, the same ingredient list except for water, which is, uh, which is water and glycerin, which is actually both products. Uh, have it as the first two ingredients and I forgot the other ingredient um, I'll probably put it somewhere on the screen right now the other ingredient that is common in both of them and actually that ingredient came out last or close to last in both of them so now I'll be talking about the similarities um, so like I said both of them only have a couple of uh, ingredients that they share uh, mainly just water and glycerin um, the fruit extracts that they have are actually totally different um, this one has like, five four this one has three the uh, main difference, I would say, this one does have an alcohol scent to it. Um, it's very faint and it might be a little bit alarming at first because it is sent to be sent for sensitive skin, but it actually doesn't sting at all. Uh, whereas this one, like I said, last time I had a slight sunburn and it did sting a little bit, um, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't anything unbearable. Um, price points. Now, this one can be a little pricey depending on where you buy it. Um, like I said, it is on the American Outfitters website, and on there I think they sell it for somewhere between $42 to $45, which is kind of highway robbery if you ask me. But uh, when I first initially bought it on Amazon, it was roughly around $23. I'm not sure if they charge me tax. The tax on Amazon is kind of funny. Sometimes they don't, sometimes they do. Um, and I had Amazon Prom at the time. Um, why I say all the time? Because I had that free trial. Do the free trial. <laughs> Uh, so basically I didn't pay for shipping, um, free two-day shipping if you have Amazon Prime. And it, um, it cost me $23 when I first bought it. I think now 
it's either 28 or 27 uh, the price does actually go up and down and doesn't really I mean if you shop at Amazon if you ever notice sometimes prices do up uh, do go up and down um, so this was 23 when I first bought it and I remember my friend she actually thought I had purchased a fake one maybe I did and I don't know about it but it worked for me um, so yeah so this one you can find relatively cheap on Amazon whereas this one it's um, I didn't even talk about how much you get in it this one is 150 milliliters and five fluid ounces, which is kind of ridiculous compared to what you're getting on the other one. Um, and this one is a little bit pricier. It is $32. Um, you can find it at Sephora. Um, I know they have it on their website. I'm not sure if you actually could buy it off their website or you have to buy it off Sephora. Um, I think you can also buy it at Macy's. I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me on it. But but um, the one thing I would say, this actually does claim to help firm your skin. Um, at the, while exfoliating, this one doesn't. This one is just an exfoliant. Um, and one little actually fun fact, this is actually said, it has some crazy statistic on it, that in Japan, one bottle gets sold every 12 seconds. That's insane. Like, I don't know the math off the back of my hand. Somebody go do the math now and tell me in the comments down below how much that is per hour. But that is quite insane. One bottle per every 12 seconds. Like, imagine how many, like, they must be producing, mass producing these every day, and the fact that they are probably mass producing this and the quality is still amazing actually says a lot. Um, so, I mean, all in all, they're both very great products. Um, the one I would prefer and the one that I would keep buying more often would have to be the Cure Natural Aqua Gel, only because I'm not looking for my skin to be firmer. I mean, I'm only like my young 20s, 24, so I don't really need my skin to be firm. But if you do want that benefit, you can go ahead and purchase this. Uh, mind you, they're basically they both do the exact same thing. Um, but all in all, they're pretty great. Um, but all in all, they are they are great quality products. I mean, this this brand is known in Sephora. Some I know some beauty bloggers have already used this. Um, but yeah, they mainly do the same thing. I mean, I don't really like bashing any products, so I will never ever talk. But a product that I will, even if I put them next to each other, they're always going to be products that I personally like. And so you can check them out and make your own personal opinion on it. But in my opinion, this one is better. Um, great for sensitive skin. It's, like I said, oh, it's only about $23. This one is $32, and you get more product than this. So if you're only looking to exfoliate, this is the one that I would go after over and over again. Okay, I hope you guys liked that video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. And go ahead and buy those products because they are bomb ass products. Um, either one you buy. Uh, so I'm still pretty new to this YouTube thing. So if you have any comments, any recommendations, anything you actually want to see in this segment, um, put it down below. Any two products you want to see go toe to toe together that are similar in nature. Now I kind of want to mainly do products that come from different countries. Uh, so that is a plus. So if there is a there is like if there's a Korean product and an American product that are similar, put that in comments down below. And if you want me to test them out or hear my opinion, I can go ahead and do that. Uh, make sure to like and comment and subscribe to my channel. And this way you can see more videos like these. All right, peace. <laughs>